Hi there, and welcome to today's class. Right, for today's class, we'll be trying to provide the solution to these questions on factorials. Now, in our previous class, we talked about how to um, simplify questions of this nature. All right, we said, and the simple idea when it comes to simplifying questions of this nature is to express the bigger factorial or the greater factorial in terms of the lesser factorial and that's all all right express the greater factorial in terms of the lesser factorial such that they can cancel out and that's the concept so if i come to this i have n plus one and then n minus two the question now becomes which of these is the greater factorial and i said to tackle this kind of questions simply assume m to be literally any number let's take for this case let's take three for instance if I take n as 3, it means that n plus 1 factorial becomes, since n, we are assuming n to be 3, okay, so assume n to be 3, so n plus 1 factorial becomes 3, so it becomes n 3 plus 1 factorial, and that's equal to 4 factorial. Still assuming n to be equal to 3, if I take n here as 3, it means that n minus 2, this it means that n minus 2 factorial will be equal to n is 3. So it becomes 3 minus 2 factorial, and that's equal to 1 factorial. So we can look at from this now, we can see that the greater factorial is n plus 1. That's 3 plus 1, n plus 1. All right, so n plus 1 is the greater factorial. My task now be express n plus 1 in terms of the smaller factorial, that's n minus 2. So how exactly do we do that? Let's see. All right, so let's see this. So we said if I have n plus 1 factorial, that this is simply equal to, we said n plus 1 factorial simply equal to this first, so n plus 1. Next up, we said subtract 1 from this. So it becomes n plus 1 um, minus 1. So we have this factorial. Let's try to simplify this. This would give us equal to, this becomes n plus 1 into n into 1 minus 1 is 0. So it becomes n plus 0, that's n, and then factorial, we have n factorial. So that means we have n plus 1 and then n factorial. We are looking for n minus 2 factorial. So we'll keep reducing this. And hence, let's proceed with this. So this will now be equal to n plus 1. Now, n factorial, we said subtract 1, it becomes n, this into, my next step becomes n minus 1 factorial. So I have this, all right? So we keep subtracting 1. We are here, we are looking for n minus 2. That means we'll keep subtracting. So my next step becomes n plus 1 into n, into this one here, which is n minus 1. We said subtract another one that becomes n minus one this one here then minus one so i have minus one bringing the factorial if i work on this this is equal to n plus one into n into n minus one into n minus one minus one is minus two factorial so i have this as um the case here so in essence, we can express n plus 1 in terms of n minus 2 using this notation. So hence, this is equal to, I have this as being n plus 1. We said it's equal to n plus 1. So n plus 1 factorial is n plus 1 into n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 factorial. This one here, all over, denominator here is n into n minus 2 factorial so we have this my next task will be to simply do what there cancel out so i have like terms n minus 2 n minus 2 factorial this will cancel this also i can see n i can also see n here so this will cancel this and my answer i have this as n plus 1 into n minus 1 all right denominator is off so i'm having this the task now we simply expand this how do you expand this i simply have n times n that's n squared, n times minus 1, minus n, plus 1 times n, plus n, plus 1 times minus 1, 
minus 1. This is equal to n squared minus n plus n cancels out. I'm left with minus 1. So I have my answer here as n squared minus 1. All right? Using this concept here, try to simplify this and leave your answer in the comment section. All right? Simplify this one here. Leave your answer in the comment section. Please, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave, hit the like button. All right? Like this video. Also, leave a comment. Simplify this and leave your answer in the comment section. Thank you and see you in the next class.